All right, everyone, welcome once again. This is uh, me, Matt Fraser, with Rock Flesh at Manchester Academy once again. And tonight we have Bloody Wood on the show. We've got Curran from Bloody Wood with us. Welcome along. Thanks very much for chatting with us. Oh, my pleasure. Cool, cool. So um, you just started the UK dates, didn't you? Um, and did the U Euro dates. Yeah. Just, yeah. How's it gone? How's it gone so far? Uh, you know, I know this sounds kind of, uh, I, I, I say this always, but it's, it it blows our mind every time we yeah. go on tour. You know, we, we come with such less expectations and you know, uh, you know this this whole tour with this whole tour, only two dates weren't sold out, and those were also really close to selling out on the last day. Oh, brilliant! So, yeah, and it's only our second, technically our second ever tour of this place. Yeah. Because there was this festival run, but that's a festival run, it's completely different. But you know, every time, every time we play a new city, we're like, is this really happening? Yeah. You know, are we really that lucky? You're like pinching yourself. <laughs> yeah, like, is yeah. this happening? Is yeah. <laughs> so, what are your favorite places that you visited on this tour? Um, so my favorite place was definitely Scotland. Really? Yeah, yeah. Really? Definitely. It was a Glasgow date, wasn't Glasgow, it? Yeah. Yes. Um, so I don't, we don't really get to explore the city much. But that was what I was going to ask yeah, actually. But, yeah. But the drive to that place is so beautiful. Oh, it's yeah, so beautiful. I, you know, uh, when I woke up, I just, uh, you know, pushed the curtain aside from my bunk and I just kept staring outside for half an hour. <laughs> and I've never done that because the moment I wake up, I have to go grab some water or something and yep. pee. I just held it all together <laughs> because I didn't want the view to stop. So, amazing. What was yeah. the crowd like in Glasgow? Amazing. They were yep. so vocal but in a good way yeah 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 <laughs> and they had that chant um, here we here we here we fucking go oh, magical magical yeah. yeah i think glasgow always uh, comes up i think era said that they really enjoyed yeah. uh, glasgow when we spoke yeah, to them yeah, yeah. So. there were so many people crowd surfing it, like you know sometimes you get this vibe from people yep. that they actually actually love you so much yeah. you know so we kept getting that warmth from them it was just it's and my then, favorite and then that boosts you i guess when yes, you're on course, stage yeah, and you yeah. feed off it and yeah, then it kind of yeah, generates yeah. that exactly that you know we we do i mean some people think we do cocaine <laughs> but that's not true that's like the secret to our energy, energy. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's the crowd you know so mm. which is why you know after soundcheck i always speak to the person on lights i tell them that please don't keep the audience in the dark yeah because when we can only see the front row and not everyone else, we get really nervous. We're like, yeah. is everyone having a good time or not? It's like, what's happening behind the yeah, front row? Yeah. It's like, is everyone just standing there shaking yeah, their heads? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's yeah. like, oh, no, no. Yeah. <laughs> Which reminds me, I haven't spoken to the lights guy here. I will do that. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's next on the list. Yeah. yeah exactly. So um, this is a kind of a delayed album tour, is it? Was this yes. um, uh, obviously one of those kind of pandemic COVID delays? Yes. Um, yes so, yeah. so the title of the tour, mm -hmm is the album title yes. isn't it yes. which means it's not a pun it's and normally pun. you do amazing yes. tour names don't you yes. was it raj against the machine yep. nine inch nans there are a couple more but i'm not going to tell you otherwise you'll ruin it for everyone <laughs> oh was it one of the things i was going to say have you got any more in the locker kind i will of tell you tomorrow? off the record <laughs> <laughs> brilliant excellent excellent yeah. Yeah. so when i saw yeah when i saw the the title of the tour i was like well that makes sense because yeah. it is an album tour but yeah. you know uh, you know where, where's the pun that with <laughs> um so for anyone who doesn't know bloody wood um how would you describe your music Hmm, the eternal question. <laughs> <laughs> you know, so the easiest way to describe our music is Indian folk metal. Yep. Okay. Yep. But if you listen to the album, there's just a plethora of genres. You know, we've got uh, we've got electronic music, we've got trap, we've got hip hop. You know, we've got yeah. uh, R and B. We've got everything. You know, so um, I'd say it's. Oh my lord, that's a difficult question. So Lots of hyphens. Just call it Indian yeah. metal. Indian metal. Yeah, Indian, Indian metal. metal. Yeah. I mean, I think yeah, definitely. When you when you listen, because there's there's different different vocals. So obviously, uh, Giant does um, kind of you say like the traditional Indian kind of folk vocals, and also the growling. I mean, he really reminds me at times of kind of Winston for Parkway Drive. Huh? That that kind of vocals. Mm -hmm. And obviously, Raoul does the the rapping, yes. which makes me think of like uh, Rise of the North Star, yeah, that yeah. that kind of stuff. Yeah. Um, and then. Your guitar work stuff. You've got Wes Borland. You've got some like oh, hardcore nice. stuff. Yeah, yeah. So I think there's definitely all those elements, isn't yeah, there? Yeah. And then that kind of fusion that I guess a lot of people might know that kind of 
tradition fused with metal in something like System of a Down, that 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 kind of band, but uh, you know, kind of like melding those influences yeah. together. It does make it very very unique. I mean, you guys are very we, unique. We copied every single band out there, so it does become unique. If you, <laughs> <laughs> you copy enough bands, yeah, it yeah, becomes your own yeah. thing. <laughs> <laughs> so I think it started. It started out with you doing uh, kind of metal. Was it like metal, metal parodies of, yeah, uh, yeah, of yeah. pop songs? Yeah. And then you kind of met Met Giant, and uh, it kind of steam steamrolled from there, didn't it? Uh, In a way, yeah. From there? yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, that's that's the easiest way to put it, <laughs> because there were just so many things happening. In the background, I was about to quit my job. I was still considering whether, you know, I should pick up another job or, you know, really dive yeah. into this or not. And, you know, I met Jayant at the right time because that's when all of this was going down. Yeah. And, um, you know, in a, in a way, we got really lucky. I think every successful band out there, I mean, I'm not saying that we're successful yet, but every successful band or business out there, uh, you know, they, if, if you ask them, they'll say, the first thing that worked in their favor was luck, you know? So you have to be at the right place at the right time for mm -hmm. it to work together. Everyone's talented, like all all the bands out there are talented, but it's the lucky ones that make it up to I think. So it's, it's interesting, is it? Because a lot of the time people do like speak about luck or they speak about hard work. Do you think that kind of initial step forward mm -hmm. requires luck but being able to maintain it and build on it requires oh, that hard work no no i say the i'd say the initial step is always the same you know you have to really work very very hard mm -hmm. you have to work very hard you have to understand what people like and what you like and find where, where those two things align yeah make that music and then it's about luck once you've put out your best product you know, once you once you've put out you know your best music your best video and then it's about luck <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it, and it's, that's that's, yeah. the, that's the unfortunate the final, yeah. it's the final it's, it's piece the final, of the jigsaw. Yeah, yeah. Final, yeah. but the most important, I'd say. Yeah, yeah. definitely. Yeah. So, um, Indian metal, I guess, like, lot, lots of people know, kind of like, you know, I guess, you know, Australian metal, uh, Japanese metals, you know, mm. a big thing. We see a lot of bands from Japan. So yeah. there's people that are, it's, what's the scene like? Um, so, I back mean, in, it's new, in yeah, it's New Delhi a hotbed for, for metal. Oh, no, <laughs> no, no. Oh, no. I mean, we had our first open air festival in three years this year. Wow. Yeah. yeah. And we have two venues that will let bands play. And right. both of them hate metal bands. <laughs> so it's so, definitely not the hot way. No, exactly. No, yeah. No. And it's not something that's uh, kind of like growing either. I know we, we spoke with a, a couple of bands, like say Mexico with Anima Tempo and stuff mm. where they're saying it, it's something that's growing a lot more now because of, you know, the success of certain kind of like Mexican bands and stuff. Do you feel that, that not that there isn't a market in India for you guys, but that it's, but your, your kind of musical professional home is now kind of over overseas almost? Um, it's a difficult question. No, 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 no. It's, it's actually a very good question. Uh, I'd say that when we when we started out, uh, we like Jayant and I had been in bands before, yep. multiple bands, and we started out with the aim of going global because we knew that you can't be local and be metal, mm -hmm. uh, especially in India. Right? Um, not to say there isn't a thriving music scene within India, but it's in with metal, it's it's not there, yeah, yet, to be sure. honest. You can't make a living over there yeah. as a metal band. But we always aim to be global and we're very, again, lucky, that word just keeps coming up, that people across the globe accepted our music and, you know, started liking it. Um, but in terms of where, where home is, okay, and where our music is and mm -hmm. where we'd love to keep making music from, that's always going to be India. Yeah. Because, you know, if you... I mean, you you can take us out of India, but you can't take India out of us, you know. Yeah, yeah, brilliant. So, yeah, 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 yeah. So that's that's where our home is. That's where we'll work from, but we will always, of of course, tour globally. Yeah. Um, so our, I'd say our home and our business home is India, but we serve the world. Yeah, 
Yeah. That's brilliant. That's brilliant. Yeah, yeah, I really, really like that. Really, <laughs> really like that. <laughs> <laughs> so, do you think um, saying about kind of little luck or your success? Yeah. Um, do you feel that that a large amount of that is because of the kind of the change up, even in recent years with social media mm-hmm. and that kind of thing? I know we've seen like kind of say Lorna Shaw. Mm-hmm. Will Ramos mm-hmm. uh, be very active on social media? Yeah. It's kind of blowing them up quite, quite big. Mm-hmm. With, with with you guys, that that's assisted you more than say like the old school way of, of bands might have had to have gone I, about stuff. I mean, I'd say assisted is an understatement. It's the only thing that brought us in. Yeah, yeah, key it's, to it. Yes, absolutely. Because um, we had like the first tour we played in 2019. Those were the first shows that we played as a band. Yeah. Um, our first show itself was a festival in Europe. So, you know, it's all because of social media, you know. And again, uh, we were, we used social media at the time when, you know, Facebook and YouTube weren't suppressing content. Yeah. You know, they weren't exactly. like actively suppressing things or moving to short form reels mm. and all. So, it's all about, you know, um, that word again, getting lucky. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Putting the right yeah. thing at the yeah. right moment. Okay, if you if you put the right energy in the right platform, uh, you're gonna you make it. Up. it. Yeah, it. yeah, yeah. yeah. You yeah. you just have to be aware. You know, uh, we weren't really aware. It just worked for us. Okay, we just put our videos on Facebook, and at that time, Facebook was very very pro video. Yes. Um, yeah. Because you know, when's the last time you remember a music video going viral on Facebook? <laughs> exactly. It's been yeah. years, right? Yeah. I think the yeah. last last time it happened to was to the Who. Yeah. You remember the Who? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, they're they're massive now. So there's always a new platform, isn't yes. there? Yeah, and yeah, uh, yeah. you know, I think bands have to be aware of that, don't they, as yeah. well? To, yes. to be able so to now people. it's it's short form content. It's TikTok, which is unfortunately banned in India. <laughs> um, and Reels and you know YouTube Shorts and all that stuff. Uh, we haven't really explored that market yet because. Uh, we've got too much on our plates right now, but once yeah. the album's out, or at least when we start the new album's process, we shall look into it. Yeah, cool, excellent. Um, let's do some of our kind of quicker, sure. more fun questions. Yeah. Um, I know you, you're very much the, the writer, producer, mm-hmm. and player, as it were, of, of this. So, um, out of the three, writing, recording, playing live, mm-hmm. what order do you put those in? Order of most loving. <laughs> most loving. Which do you love the most out of those? It's always more difficult for the guys who do, no, do a lot no, of the no. writing and the producing. Uh, so. Because there's this one thing that I love even more than this. Oh, but God, I'll yeah. get to that. Um, <laughs> yeah. So in, in order of these, I'd say writing is number one. Mm-hmm. Okay. Performing is number two. And recording is number three. I hate it. <laughs> All right. I hate it. You know, but I got to do it. You, there's no way around it. Exactly. But yeah, writing involves recording, but recording for the album, those final takes where mm-hmm. you have to absolutely nail each and everything. <sighs> yeah. I'm recording those snares over yeah, and over and over. Not that looking forward to that again. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but we got to do it. Yeah, no so what? So what's your fourth thing that went to the top? Oh, that's my number one thing. Uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Num- the number one thing is releasing the music. Right. Because that's when you know. That's when you know uh, how much people value your music yeah. and how much it changes their lives. And you know, what you made in your bedroom can affect so many lives and you know, it can bring yeah. so many people together. It can, you know, uh, bring, I mean, it can sometimes help people have a, you know, better day and sometimes it can bring them away from, you know, a point where they're about to take their lives. Yeah. So, yeah, it's it's just that that point, you know, that that point when you finally realize that it was worth it. Yeah, you know, everything definitely. was worth it, and you know, uh, yeah, yeah, it's 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 the best feeling. In the world. Yeah. I know. Uh, yeah, I know. As a band, um, you're very social, uh, very aware of kind of social awareness, social impact, charity work, often like kind of uh, profits to charitable things. That so it's not just almost the kind of meaning of the songs and the lyrics of the songs. It's actually what you can put back, isn't it, to, yes. to communities, etc. Yes, yes. Is it, is that something that you always wanted to be able to do? When, when day you day said one. like you know yeah. we want to be global, but we also yes. want to give something Absolutely. back. Absolutely, from from day one, from the time we decided to start writing original music it was all about creating a positive change in the world. yeah all about that so yeah that's that's and that's never gonna change 
because it's it's the most rewarding form of I'd say putting your I, I mean shaping your art. Yes. You know? Yeah. 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 No, definitely. Yeah. Yeah. Are they, they, it's, it, that that wasn't the short fire questions. But <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, I forgot um, about that. Uh, biopic of the band. Who would you have playing you in a biopic of the band? Oh my lord! <laughs> That's a difficult question. Um, Jonah Hill. <laughs> there we go. There we go. I mean, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Why not? Why not? Why not? Um, if there was one person, mm -hmm. real or fictional, dead or alive, who you could have join the band, who would it be and why? How are these questions quick, man? They, <laughs> they're making me think so they, much. They're quick to say, but they're, oh, okay. they're deep okay. to think about. <laughs> mm. No, I'd have to. Oh, damn it. Actually, no one, man. If anyone else joins the band, it's done. That's good. <laughs> yeah. that's, that's a good answer. Yeah, yeah. I like that answer. I like that answer. Um, Bloody Wood Fest. You're obviously headlining it. Who else is playing at it? On the lineup. Can Who makes that headline? lineup? You don't have to headline it. I was just throwing it. <laughs> I don't want to offend anybody. No, but most yeah. people say we played the main stage, but middle of the day. Yeah. Like <laughs> um, I'd say. Of course, if you, because you're asking me this question, no one else has a say. Yeah. <laughs> they don't my, get to that. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Bring Me the Horizon. Love that band. Um, I absolutely love Baby Metal also. Mm -hmm. um, Alter Bridge. Um, hmm. Hmm. <laughs> you put me in a spot. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, one more. I'm really into bad omens these days. Yep. So, yeah, yeah. Yep. Bad Brilliant. Omens. Yeah. yeah, no, no, we saw them the other day. Really, really good. Really, really good. Up and coming, as it were. Yeah, yeah. Um, right then. So, uh, thanks very much for chatting with us. Um, what can we expect from you over the next kind of 12 months, as it were, as a band? Um, you can expect us to. Um, <laughs> to be that you're allowed to Working tell us. really yeah. hard. <laughs> yeah. Working really hard to be underslept. Yeah. <laughs> Obviously <laughs> underpaid. <laughs> and, um, I mean, okay, in all honesty, jokes <laughs> apart, um, we, we, right after this, we have three weeks off, then we head to our US tour, right. uh, which is a month long. And then right from the US, we're going to Europe for the festival run, Europe sure. and UK. Um, that's when we play Help Us Download and all the other festivals. And then we go to Japan, straight from Europe to play two shows there. We just announced those two shows. Yep. Um, and then finally back home. So wow. that, we're going and back then home. Asleep. <laughs> oh no, I can't. there's no, no sleep. sleep, no sleep because we got to start working on the next album because we're already getting booked for late 24. Wow. Yeah. So you've got a small window to be able to do the recording, the studio work, is it? I mean, to do everything, do not everything. just the recording, we have to write, record, um, think about what we're going to do in the videos, travel to different parts of India to shoot those videos, um, make sure everything else is uh, yep. aligned, you know, physical release, digital, if we're going to work with the label or not, we don't know that yet. Everything needs to be done within a matter of maybe like 10 months. But it's 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 good to be able to do that kind of work, isn't it? It's tiring, but yeah. I guess you, you yeah, probably I mean, wouldn't change it for the world. You eh? shouldn't be complaining at all. <laughs> yeah. But no, excellent. Well, oh, we can expect plenty from you then, which yes. is always great. Great to know. Um, thanks very much. Um, review photos from tonight's gig, including support band uh, Lake Malice, will be up on the rockflesh.com website as well. But thanks once again, and uh, see you all soon. Thanks very much. <laughs>